Hey guys, it's Mushroom Kingdom Gaming, and I'm doing a game review. Remember how we did that really old video, my game review of New Super Mario Bros. 2? Yeah, well, here's Paper Mario Sticker Star. Now, before you just turn out of this video, just listen to me. Everyone thinks that Paper Mario Sticker Star is the worst Paper Mario game of all for technically five of them. But it's actually not that bad. I played it. I got it. <laughs> in 20... Uh, I got it in 2014, on Christmas 2014. I played it. It was fun. For the time that... The time between World 1 and World 2. It was fun. It was really fun. It was... Extremely fun, actually. World 1, the best, obviously. So it's easy and easy to play. But yes, once again, before you turn out this video, let me talk about its pros. First off, the box art. This is, of course, on Nintendo 3DS, if you wondered. But yes, the box art is amazing. I don't know. This is, like, it might seem like a really small pro, but it is a great pro. Just look at how beautiful its box art is. Let's look at the 3D-ness of the Paper Goomba and Paper Mario. They look so cool. And just the inclusion of Kirsty and Bows Jr. and the taped up Toad and the Paratroopa, like, they all look really cool. I just love the box art. But anyway, back to the actual game. So hey, the, the game actually starts off okay. I mean, doesn't really have a very, uh, very detailed plot, Paper Mario Sticker Star. The ending starts, I mean, the, uh, beginning starts out kinda bland. Kinda bland. Basically, Mario and Peach and all the Toads and stuff are, you know, at the Sticker Festival, which is held every, like, a hundred years, I think it said, and just... Okay, so, yeah. You know how in... Super Mario Galaxy, there's all that, like, Comet Festival or whatever, every, like, 100 years, and Mario goes to both of them in Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Yeah, that's the Matrix. This isn't, so far at least. This is the first inclusion of the Sticker Festival, and I'm hoping it doesn't appear again, because then that would make no sense. Anyway, that's uh, not the point here. So, yes, the beginning is kind of bland with all of them at the Sticker Festival, Bowser's trying to steal the great sticker of awesomeness, seriously, the grand sticker, the crown sticker, the king sticker, something like that. But anyway, he grabs it, the toads try to get him off, and then, bam, he gets powered up, and the, you know, oh, the sticker, sticker star, sorry, wow, it's right on the name, and I didn't, I forgot it. But yeah, the sticker star breaks into pieces, blah, 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 Bowser gets, and Bowser gets powered up by a piece of the sticker star, and he, like, brutally kills Mario, basically, like he did in the original Paper Mario. <laughs> Something to note there. And, uh, the Super Paper Mario. And I think it's the Thousand Year Door. I'm not too sure. But anyway, the point is, he basically brutally kills off Mario. He doesn't, but, uh, he kidnaps Peach, and he just makes way off of it. <laughs> and after that point, yeah. <laughs> basically what happens is you're unconscious on the ground, obviously, and Someone is calling to you to wake up. You wake up, you pull a sticker off a sign, you get Kirsty. Yeah, that's the beginning of it. It's very bland. <laughs> very bland. Then you have to rescue Toads from Bowser tape, which is just bad. Anyway, the, the point is, the plot isn't very detailed at all. I mean, it has an okay ending. I mean, with Kirsty killing herself, basically. Sacrificing herself for Mario, and then Mario wishing her back to life. That's... That's pretty cute, actually, but just, uh, aside from that, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really have a good plot. Uh, now on to the most important thing, is the battles. Sticker battles, to be exact. Yeah, well, as it's an RPG this time, uh, you know, you know how all of them are RPGs, and then Super Paper Mario was a platformer, and everyone's like, what the heck? Well, at least Paper Mario Sticker Star is still- it retains the RPG appearance. It incorporates stickers. 
it makes the battles become sticker battles. Basically, the mechanic of stickers is that you find them around the world and you can press it. And you can hold down A to peel them off places and then you put them in your sticker book. And then you can use those uh, in battles. Certain enemies have certain weaknesses. Uh, of course, the Fire Flower and Ice Flower being the most important in those weaknesses. But yes, uh, there's a lot of different stickers to collect. And uh, mainly the ones you'll be getting are Jump and Hammer. And you'll get different classes of uh, all these different kinds of stickers. Each, uh, the better the rank, the more damage they do, obviously. And, uh, yeah. There is no leveling up in this game. You get uh, five up hearts around the world, which increase your maximum health by five, obviously. And, uh, yeah, the enemies drop coins, like, in the, the, uh, in, like, in the first Paper Mario, but just, just no, like, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, that's why a lot of people are controversial about those battles. They're just not really fun for some people. They were okay for me, I guess, but, yeah. The bosses are okay. The bosses, yeah, they're okay, but... The first boss you face, I believe, is Bowser Jr., uh, and it's his, of course, it's his first Paper Mario appearance. Um, of course, he appeared later in Paper Jam, but, uh, yeah, he appeared later in Paper Jam, Paper Bowser Jr., I'm talking about. But, yeah, anyway, you face him, you can't beat him, you get scissors, and then you automatically beat him. Basically, there's regular stickers, and then there's things, which can be turned into stickers, which do a hefty amount of damage, but... Just the idea of it all, like, you don't level up, you don't get XP, you get coins, but that doesn't really matter. It's 3D, I mean, of course it's 3D, but it's held, the battles are held by a diagonal angle instead of a horizontal angle. Like in Paper Mario and, and, and Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And just, it's just not very, it, it just doesn't retain... Uh, the Paper Mario appearance everybody loves. And, yeah, I mean, the final boss, the final boss, is Paper Bowser, obviously, and then he becomes Cardboard Bowser, and I guess that makes him so much more powerful. I mean, since Cardboard is not even sharp, so I don't know how he can rip up paper, but the point is, the final boss is pretty bad. It's just all kind of bad. The plot's really bad, just, yeah. But the the visuals are great, though. I like the visuals a lot. Um, they really stand out. And once again, uh, you know, they bring back how the enemies in the field from Thousand Year Door and Paper Mario. Just, they just bring them back, which is good, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, all the enemies are unoriginal, I believe. Yeah, all the enemies are unoriginal, which I'm completely fine with, but some people are just too stupid and just complain about there being only unoriginal uh, enemies, like, uh, you know, the Goomba, the Koopa, the Spineys, all, all that stuff, which uh, later happened in Paper Jam, but we'll get into that when I do a review on that game. The point is, everyone is like, nah, but I really, I really like unoriginal enemies. They bring back memories. Anyway, so overall, I'd really just rate this game around a six and a half to ten just the visuals are great the box art is awesome however the the pros sorry let me just start over i'm trying to organize myself as much as i can i'll organize more in the next episode but uh the pros are extremely good box art great visuals the cons are not very interesting stuff <laughs> not not very interesting battles not very interesting bosses very bad story just kind of plain story um another one of the pros is good ending you know i, I like the idea of the ending but yeah so yeah i've rated it a six and a half out of ten if you agree with me just do whatever you you do. <laughs> and I will be back for another game review. I know this, uh, this game, oh, I'll be back for another one later, but I know this game review seemed kind of rushed. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll organize, uh, more, uh, in the next episode, but yeah, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.